on your TV for a while, don't worry, it hasn't gone anywhere. In fact, it's the 10th anniversary of the Bitter Cold Showdown, and in that time, rollerblading has only gotten bigger and stronger and faster. My name is Arlo Eisenberg, and along with Matt Mickey, we're gonna take you through this contest. Matt, I know there's a lot of great skaters here. Who are some of the top pros to watch out for? First and foremost, I would say Montre Livingston, returning champ from last year. He won a bit of cold, 2009, and he's back to take his top prize. We have about 30 skaters here in our pro event, broken down into five heats. We're gonna narrow it down to the top 10, and those 10 riders can come from any heat. So you don't necessarily have to win your heat. In fact, there's no guarantee that you'll even make it out of your heat. Montre Livingston about to drop in for his introductory run. There is no way to mistake when those dreads go flying. Huge misty flip right out of the gate. Probably about 12 or 14 feet up. He gets bucked off on the landing and comes up smiling. That's Montre. That, that's a good idea right there, trying to get the crowd hyped. I mean, they already were buzzing just when they heard his name. Then he came out and he delivered. One thing I want to mention, Arlo, is a lot of these skaters out here, wow, as Alex Brosco goes backside, fast slide, a true spin, top side, porn star. Oh, Alex going for that backside 3cc topsoil, technical street skating variation, bringing it here to the park course. A lot of these skaters are known more for their street skating sections and video profiles than they are for skate park skating. Now, this event highlights just one aspect of rollerblading. Well, one of the brilliant things about the format of a contest like this with the jam session is it really gives the street skaters a chance to excel in the way that they're familiar with, in the way that they're comfortable with. They don't have to go out and do a 60 second run. They can take as many attempts as they want. They can just go for one trick at a time and they can try the hardest tricks that they want and not have to worry about not hitting it first try. Exactly, they've got time. Oh, Alex Broskow, Ali Ubrah right 360 off. Now judging by the audience reaction already elevated at such a high pitch, it looks like this first heat is gonna be a pretty good indicator that this pro contest is definitely gonna be off the hook. And another thing I would also mention is that a lot of these pro skaters in the contest have a huge following of fans. So the audience reaction is already pre-instilled in these people. Their favorite skaters out there, you best believe they're gonna be cheering for them. As we've seen from rollerblade rider David Sizemore, disaster alley of fish brain. It's like you see in conventional sports where they would call you know, a football game a playoff atmosphere. It's like the, the crowd gets energized, everything gets kind of electric, the skaters feed off of that, and just makes for a very dynamic atmosphere. Oh! Brian Murphy, local hero, Billy O'Neill, backside, backside, up! Transfer topside sunny day down the pyramid Ponzi scheme box the fakie and the crowd goes wild. I think that of all the action sports, rollerblading has the best balance between being able to go big and do really giant stunts and also it has that really technical element. You got guys launching ramps across the course, spinning, Whoa! landing, just as Alex Boscow displayed with a mute grab, disaster, Trusman mistrial, combining a gap with a very technical street skating maneuver. Awesome. You know, there's always this interesting dynamic in a jam session format where these skaters have to figure out how much they show in a preliminary round because they got to save something for the finals, but they can't save so much that they don't even advance. There's Montre. Oh, and he lands it. Wow. What Montre just did was launch up, spin bio 540, rotate over his shoulder, almost inverted. Must have been 10, 12 feet out over the launch box there. Really got the crowd going. Wow, local Detroit hero Brian Murphy, and the crowd goes wild for this homegrown veritable hero of the moment. This event is also part of a series of events. The WRS has linked all of the top rollerblading events that go on all over the world. We already had Winter Clash, and there'll be others all across this country and, and other stops overseas. And each event is ranked based on the number of high quality participants that show up. This is the top level event, a five star event. So the skaters can earn the most points at an event like this. Drop in the second heat competitors in the pro contest at Bitter Cold Showdown 10. Brian Seaman with the trademark stale 360, bank to bank, cruising. Oh, launching up Soul Grind to Fakie. Wow, Brian Seaman, somebody that has the ability to skate amazingly and perform unexpected tricks. Keep your eye on him. So Shiro coming with some speed. Oh, backside backslide to Fishbrain. 
Billy O'Neill in the earlier round did a similar maneuver, so Shiro may be trying to one-up him and catch the judge's attention there. He's he's catching everybody's attention, judging by the crowd reaction. All yeah. eyes are on Soshiro right now. smooth, effortless style. Here comes Joey Chase. Oh my goodness, Unity to Topsoul, drop Topsoul across the sub box to the quarter pipe coping. Wow, back to back to back, amazing tricks here in this heat. Brian Shima dropping in. Soul the true spin, poor star up and then down the Ponzi pyramid scheme box. I call it a veritable Ponzi scheme of plywood. The more you invest, the greater the chance of reward, but at the same time, the greater the chance of failure. And if you fall off that, failure's gonna hurt. Well done. Thanks, Arlo. That's some analogy, that's good. Oh! oh! So Shiro Kanashima, hurricane disaster tops all the fakey. I'm not sure if it's the Volo beanie that doesn't fit or the speed and spins that's tossing it off his head, but my goodness. He almost caught it on that one. Yeah, he did so almost catch great. it. Oh! Wow. Local boy Brett Urbos is pumping his fist. He just lays the fakie 360 True Spin Mizu to drop down top asset on the quarter pipe coping from the sub box. And right behind him, Brian Shima, soul grind up. The true spin top sold down. I think people sleep on Brian Shima because he's been so good for so long. They keep right. waiting for him to drop off and he just doesn't. No, not at all. If anything, he's actually stepping his game up. He keeps getting better. Heat three about to get underway here in the pro contest. Two standout names right off the bat. Former LG Action Sports World Champions, Frankie Morales and Eric Bailey. Definitely know their way around a contest course and they definitely know how to skate, please the crowd and please the judges. Frankie Morales dropping in. Oh, amazing, 720. Trademark tight tucked, and of course his gold teeth, nearly completely tattooed body, and quaff of dreadlock sticking out the top of his head, make him an easy spot. You can't miss Frankie, that's for sure. Frankie definitely one of the more electric personalities in rollerblading. He's a huge fan base all over the world, not only for street skating, but for contest skating as well. Avakai Wessler, another international skater, all the way from Tel Aviv, Israel, dropping in fakey, kick out 720 over the launch box. Oh, Frankie Morales attempting a 900 off the backside of the launch box, all the way to flat, washing out on the landing. Here comes Bailey, launching up Allium topside oh. asking, oh, but he almost laces it. Come on, Bailey, we know you got that. This crowd is behind Eric Bailey. Every person here wants to see him land that launch to alley -oop top acid on the real big garage door extension. Definitely a lot of high level skating going down here in the third heat of the pro contest at the Bitter Cold Showdown 10. Frankie dropping in, going for the 900. Oh, and he lands it! Amazing! Another thing about that trick that Eric's attempting is there's a major investment, not just in terms of commitment, but also he's got to skate really hard and fast to get all the way up on top of that extension. Otherwise, he's going to come off early and may wash out on that bank. Bailey dropping in, cutting across the course. Locks on Allium Top Bassett. He lands it. Oh, my goodness. By far the most difficult trick we've seen on the real big garage door extension. Laces Allium Top Side Acid, coming back in the corner pipe transition perfectly. The energy is amazing in here right now. Eric Bailey put it on quite a show. And that's not all. The action continues here at the Bitter Cold Showdown 10 Modern Skate Park, Royal Oak, Michigan. Don't go anywhere. My name is Chris Affey. I've been rollerblading for 14 years now, and I uh, started out in Atlanta, Georgia. Man, my early experiences with competing were pretty funny. I'm a competitive person by nature, so anytime I start doing something, it's just like my natural drive to want to compete in it. So the first contests I skated were like 97 miss. I had no business being on the course at all. The first competition I won was the Atlanta IMYTA. I remember the feeling that I got from that was like so insane that I just got addicted to it. It just drove me to want to compete harder, skate harder. One of the up-and-comers that I'm really impressed with every time I see him skate is John Bellino. 
I've had the opportunity to skate with him a handful of times and every time it's always really fun and he's always just pushing himself and in turn like getting everybody else at the session pumped to push themselves. He's definitely ripping and he's going to be around quite a long time so he's definitely one to keep your eye on. Well there's a few major contests I haven't won but one that would be really cool to win is the Bitter Cold Showdown. I haven't won that before and it's like a really highly respected contest. It's a hard contest to win. It just means more because it takes so much more because so many people are throwing down so hard. I've come close a few times. It's like just in, in my grasp or whatever. So it's, it would be cool to, to catch one of those titles. Welcome back to the 10th Annual Bitter Cold Showdown in Detroit, Michigan. We're at Modern Skate Park where the top professional and amateur inline skaters are laying it all on the line for a chance to be called BCSD champion. And the crowd goes wild as Chris Haffey drops in. Oh my goodness! Right off the bat, disaster. True topsoil on the drop side of the coping box in the back corner here. Utilizing a part of the course only few other people have ever attempted to skate. Chris Haffey, an introduction for a man who needs no introduction. Dropping in for his introduction, Jeff Stockwell. Oh, oh wow. Huge transfer from quarter pipe to quarter pipe, gapping over the entire sub box. Stockwell will definitely use the course in unique ways. And what an introductory trick from Remedy rider Conor O'Brien. He laces a 540 Trucemen Mizu right off the bat. Very difficult to spin that much into a trick and lace it first try. Chris Halfey could possibly be hungrier than anyone out here wanting to add this title to his illustrious list of rollerblading accomplishments. And with a trick like that disaster 360 sold to Fakie, so effortlessly done, he may be well on his way. Chris Haffey is widely regarded as probably the best skater of the past 10 years, and there's no doubt that he would love to have a Bitter Cold trophy. Chris Haffey would definitely love to take home the Bitter Cold Hammer trophy and the cash purse for this pro contest. Oh, wow. Connor O'Brien. Oh, oh, my goodness. Chris Haffey, nicknamed Superman, launches off the backside of the launch ramp all the way to the far down slant of the pyramid box soul grind. The first person we've seen all day complete that huge gap to grind. Whoa! Wow. Sick. Jeff Stockwell, backslide, alley oop topsail, revert in the opposite way, follows it up by topside acid across and down the rail, always linking trick after trick. Jeff Stockwell is carrying some nice lines here. You know, it must be tough being happy because he really, he is so good that he is really judged against himself. I call it happy atrophy. The judges have become so jaded and so uh, spoiled seeing all the great things he does that they just expect it. They don't always appreciate for how and difficult it is. it is. Can you believe it, Arlo? We're already in the fifth and final heat at the pro contest here at Bitter Cold Showdown 10. We've seen some great skating and I can't wait to see how these finals are gonna look. Based on what we've seen so far, it's gonna be pretty intense. Brian Aragon dropping in. Trucemen backside Savannah across the Golden Arch Rail. Big 720 on the quarter pipe, linking two tricks back to back. Brian Aragon definitely catching the judge's attention. Oh! Fast plans to Alley of Fishbrain. The hometown Detroit crowd is broken into a cheer for local boy Tom Bambrick. Aragon dropping back in, cruising with some speed. Oh, true spin top acid to Fakie, so effortless. Brian Aragon really puts on quite an appealing style of skating, so technical, so difficult, but yet so smooth. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. John Bellino, 360 top acid, followed by a fakie 720, and then back to the Golden Arch Trail where he started his line. Amazing way to link those tricks. Brian Aragon dropping in. Heading over to that extension. 450 frontside full torque, 360 out, pushing way off to the flat bottom. Not probably as neat as he would like to have done it, but no doubt an amazing trick nonetheless. John Rumbolino and Brian Aragon have definitely been the standouts in this heat. No doubt. And after five preliminary heats, now the judges have got to narrow it down to the top 10 riders that are going to advance into the finals. Undoubtedly a daunting task, as with the level of skating we've seen from all the competitors here in the pro contest, and the judges definitely have their work cut out for them to narrow this field down to 10. 
We are definitely seeing the sport push to the limits here. Don't go anywhere. There's a lot more rollerblading when we come back. <laughs> Welcome back to the Bitter Cold Showdown 10 here at Modern Skate Park in Detroit, Michigan, where the pro finalists have been announced and are now dropping in for their introductory runs. Arlo, no doubt we are about to see the most progressive skating of the day. NIM founder Brian Shima dropping in for his finals introduction. Cruising with some speed. Wow, big 360. Big 360, Soul to Top Soul to Alium Soul, up and down the Pyramid Ponzi Scheme Box. What a way to make his way into the finals, Brian Shima. Oh my goodness. Hello, Arlo. First trick. The trademark textbook, flawless precise skating of Brian Aragon is now on display. Arlo, noticeably absent from this top 10 finals is last year's winner, Montre Livingston. Good point. So we will have point. a new Bitter Cold Showdown champion. Oh, Woo! wow. Definitely stepping it up a notch for the finals. So Shira one-upping a trick he did earlier with a backslide to Fishbrain, back to backside backslide on the Ponzi Pyramid scheme here. Yeah, oh, wow. Arlo, did you see that? Chris Haffey, disaster. Switch, dark side soul, followed up with the disaster, natural soul. Far side. Correct, far side. Oh my god. Shima, a soul. Inner 360 all the way to the bank on the opposite side of the Ponzi Ski Pyramid. Oh wow. So Shiro, a veritable magician on the course here, lost his beanie and caught it in the air before he landed. Phenomenal. I think he, he took his beanie right off. He's a showman. Who do you have your eye on in the finals here, Arlo? I know you've got some favorites. Well, that's one of my oh. favorites it's right there. Wow. I think the beans got spilled for you. That was that was Chris Haffey with the 540 alley -oop porn star, followed up by John Molina with the 540 disaster alley -oop topside porn star. Amazing. This crowd is out of control. Oh! Brian Shima, soul up the Ponzi scheme box to true top soul down to true porn star. Connor O'Brien, 360 top side, sunny day. Whoa! Jesus Christ! Chris Haffey attempting to far side. Disaster kind grind off the deck of the launch box. Goes down hard. Looks like he may have hit his hip and got the wind knocked out. So unfortunate to see him go down, but he was putting it all on the line. And the crowd breaks into a happy chant. If anybody can take a fall and muster the strength to come back and compete, it's Chris Haffey. Whoa! Oh, 540 kind grind, fully tucked and grabbed by John John Bellino. That was nuts. Awesome, Arlo. Dude, the level of skating is so high right it now. It has stepped up about three notches. You can feel the but tension, the what, animosity. What these guys have to do to compete right now is oh so dangerous. Goodness. Alex Roscow, backside, backslide, up the Ponzi Ski Pyramid to True Machio down. Aragon coming in faking. Oh my god! Oh my god! Arlo, that was Spanky, 450, backside, backslide to front Nugent, coming in over the sub box coping, quarter pipe to quarter pipe. What do you think? This contest might literally come down to the last person standing. They are just getting wrecked out here because they are skating so hard and they have to skate so big. Whoa! Oh my God! Chris Haffey, the hugest 360 disaster soul from the wedge on the backside of the launch ramp all the way to the opposite downside of the pyramid box. What a competitor to, co to come back after that fall. He did come back after the fall, and he's elevated his skating another notch. Arlo, there isn't a second 
that goes by where there isn't at least three competitors across the course. And all doing amazing tricks. Yes. Oh my god. Alex Broskow just lays disaster true top porn star on the Pyramid Ponzi scheme box. Oh, and there's Brian Aragon landing that very unorthodox, fakey Bio 720. What would you call that, Arlo? I would call it a Baragon. That 360 soul disaster that Chris Haffey landed was borderline unbelievable, even for Chris Haffey. Oh my god! And I think he may have just sealed the nail in the variable coffin. Wow. Chris Haffey, 540 disaster royale from the backside of the launch box all the way to the downside of the Ponzi pyramid box. Do you think that can be topped this late in the contest, Arlo? I mean, with this field of skaters, anything can happen. Right. What a fitting end it would be. And what a monumental triumph after such a hard fall to come back and take it. Standing in his way, a few other competitors and their last tricks. Haffey has definitely set the bar so high right now at the tail end of this pro contest here at Bitter Cold Showdown 10. Whoa! Oh my goodness. John Bellino with what looked to me like a fakey 540 disaster soul. Is that right, Arlo? That's what it was. So fast. That was wow. radical. John Bellino has got a following. Aragon coming in for the coping. Whoa! Oh my god. Oh my god. And right behind wow. him. Wow. Back to back, Brian Aragon. Fakie 360, Aliyub Topsoil 720 out. Connor O'Brien, Aliyub Topsoil 720 out. Back to back on that extension coping between the corner pipes. Whoa! Oh my goodness. David Sizemore on the huge Ponzi Pyramid box. 540 disaster, Aliyub Topsoil. I'm not sure how much time we have left in this finals, but you know what? I couldn't care less, although I want this skating to go on forever. I don't want it to end. The crowd is so hyped right now. Oh my god. So Shiro, so Shiro just landed a Bio 900 bank to bank, Whoa. the same gap that he cleared with that trademark flat spin 540. One upped it. Flat spin 900 bank to bank, so hard. Oh, wow. Brian Shima, huge 360 disaster, sold the fakie. Looks at the audience, shrugs his shoulders like what? Shima's got that. Matt, if you had to call this right now, who do you give it to? You know what? Right now, for me, after what I just witnessed with John Molino, I would say it's a toss-up between the superhuman Chris Haffey, John Molino, those two are definitely the leaders. Even Brian Shima has got his name up in the runnings if you're asking me. And I may have spoke too soon, so Shiro Kanashima, 540 disaster true Mizu on the big pyramid box. I think it's way too close to call right it now. It is definitely way too close to call. I am so glad I'm up here in the commentator's booth with you instead of behind a judging desk. I think wow. you, I think you gotta let him skate and sort it out on the I would skates. too. These final tricks really could be what it comes down to. Because yes. I'd say to this point, it's too close to call. So these could be the deciding tricks, no doubt about it. Oh my God! David Sizemore, starting from the back of the course, drops in, hits the back wedge of the launch ramp. Wow! Disaster dark side porn star, almost insurmountable distance to reach. Only matched earlier in this contest by Superman Happy himself. When we were discussing who could possibly win it earlier, I forgot to include Brian Aragon. Oh, oh man! He needed that. Brian Aragon wanted so bad to lace the 540 disaster true spin topside acid on the pyramid box. Locked on, but washed out on the landing. The table has been set for Happy to finally pick up his bitter cold showdown hammer. Let's see if he can do it. Oh my god. Chris Happy just won up his previous top hit with the 540 disaster soyal. Matt, this is what it all comes down to. If there's any strategizing before, if there's any holding back, that's all out the window now. These guys are going balls out. Speaking of not holding back, the crowd goes wild as Shoshiro laces a hurricane disaster fish win on the pyramid box. Right behind him, John Bellino drops in with the fakie 540 disaster acid. They've elevated John Bellino in a crowd surfing homage to the last trick that he just laced. But let's not forget 
all the tricks that went down throughout the final. It may be too soon to judge or to crown him in a, in a seemingly rash decision by the audience. The crowd has taken over the street course, anxiously awaiting who will walk home with the cash prize purse and the coveted Bitter Cold Hammer Trophy. At this point, it's anybody's guess. Stay tuned for the official results here at Bitter Cold Showdown 10. My name is Greg. I'm Kansas City Bread. A little to the left, but I keep a level. Chris Happy has just been announced BCSD champion, narrowly beating out John Bellino. Well, it was the most controversial finish and certainly the closest we've ever had at a bitter cold showdown. But one thing that did not change was the level of progression and the level of skating from the best rollerbladers anywhere in the world. Bitter cold showdown always pushes the level of skating in the sport, always pushes the progress. Congratulations to our champion, Chris Happy, who finally adds a bitter cold hammer to his vast trophy collection. Congratulations to all the competitors, all the skaters, all the finalists and amateurs who came out to be a part of this year's Bitter Cold Showdown. Join us next week as we travel to Pensacola, Florida for the Panhandle Pow Wow on the next stop of the World Rolling Series. Thank you from the Bitter Cold Showdown in Detroit, Michigan. I'm Arlo Eisenberg. We'll see you next time.